from the bottom, but we got to the top. We all trying to get to the top. We came from the bottom, but we got to the top. Jeffrey Simmons. It is so good to see you in person. I feel like I haven't had a chance to talk to you in a while. It's so good to sit down and be with you. How is everything going? How does it feel to be at St. Thomas Sports Park? It's feel great. Yeah? Um, it's feel great going into year three, getting an opportunity to actually be here with my teammates in person, like you said, see you in person. Just that vibe, you know, it's just that vibe to be back inside, but be back to work um, doing what I love and doing what I enjoy doing and just playing football, being around my teammates, you know, each and every year, it's like I'm learning the game more and more and I'm just happy to be back. It's time to get this done. You've had kind of a wacky start to your career. So you get drafted, you're recovering from an ACL. So you don't really get that off season experience because you know, you're healing from an injury. Then in year two, you should have a normal season. You're healthy, you were able to play a little bit, and then COVID hit. So everything is altered across the National Football League. Year three, you're finally here in this building. You're able to have a real off season. You're able to have real training and workouts. How do you think that's going to impact your game or has it already impacted your game that you've noticed? I think it's impacted my game already for sure. You know, just being able to you know, from OTAs, um, you know, just that, especially just go all the way back from right after the season, you know, you know, taking a little time off, you know, um, letting my body heal up from the season, you know, I really didn't have no major injuries um, coming out the season. I felt good, but just getting my body back ready for this year because I was able to go work out. I was able to, you know, actually focus on what I need to focus on to get ready for year three. And that's to get my body right. You know, just learning from last year, you know, I'm sitting down watching film with my trainer, which was my uncle. Then I come here for OTAs. In the opportunity to be on the field with your teammates, it's always great, you know, just trying to bond, especially in the spring, you know, to be able to know what type of teammates you have, you know, that drive or whatever it may be that you may have to push the guys a bit harder, whatever it may be. And, you know, you're just getting you ready for camp and getting ready for the season, so. It seems like you've had a tremendous impact on the football field in a very short amount of time. Is that surprising even to you, maybe the amount of impact, the amount of intensity you're able to bring it to the field when you're still so young? I'm just, I mean, just thinking back, you know, uh, when I first got in, you know, my thing was, you know, I wasn't playing, I was trying to just gain the trust and uh, respect with my teammates. And, you know, that just, you know, I always went by this thing, control what I control, and that's the, how hard I rehab, come off the injury, how hard I work at practice, and how hard I play in the game, you know, whatever it may be, making tackle for loss, you know, trying to get a sack or, you know, running to the ball. And, you know, I think when your teammates see that, you gain the trust, and you gain the um, respect of your teammates. You know, they're just bringing that impact each and every day. My role on this team, you know, is to be a D lineman, but also be a leader. And, um, you know, each and every day, I feel like if I come here, work my tail off, go on the field, you know, build impact, you know, have an impact. And I think everything there just falls in line. You know, you get the respect and you get the trust from your teammates. Now you mentioned that leadership. I know that's something you kind of put an emphasis on is learning how to be a leader, really growing into that role. Do you feel like you have become a better leader this year than in previous years? Yeah, for sure. Like I said, um, you have to learn your teammates. You have to learn, you know, which guy you had to push harder. You know, it, we all are human beings and it's just, you know, starting with me, you know, I hold myself to a high standard. You know, no matter what it is, you know, if we run it, we lift in weights, um, you know, practice, whatever it may be, running to the ball. You know, I want to be first. I want to be that guy that I'm not just going to talk about it. I'm going to show you that I'm going to be a leader by doing it.